Hi everyone, my name is Jill Andrew and I'm the Member of Provincial Parliament for Toronto St. Paul's and we're standing right here in Little Jamaica. Hello, my name is Adrian Hales. We're currently in Reggae Lane. I'm going to introduce you to two murals that I've done here, uh, kind of in commemorating the influence that reggae music has had on this community. And this, of course, is the introduction to the lane itself. The inspiration for the mural was just the idea of community coming together and kind of highlighting the um, positive things that are here in the community, as well as just the general idea of living together as being an art. So this was the first of the two murals. The major reasoning behind this mural was to highlight all the amazing reggae artists that exist in this community. A lot of the faces that are featured, obviously Bob Marley, Haley Selassie, are not of this community, but their importance to reggae music needed to be highlighted and that's why they're featured. We've created an app, uh, with Concrete Lab, and how the app works. There's a QR code right on the side of the mural, which you can zap and then get the app. And what it allows you to do is to hear the histories as well as some of the music of the artists that are featured on the mural. We gotta move along. How you doing? My name is Chosen of Treasure Isle, 1514 Eglinton West here in the city of Toronto. This is the neighborhood we're in, Little Jamaica. This place has real special in my heart to me. It's uh, one of the most prolific black communities in all of Canada. Been coming here since I was a youth, enjoying festivals like Jamaica Day and Kitty Carabana and just enjoying uh, the food and the culture over the years. We're here, we specialize in lots of um, events, different things that we do for the community, everything from music, culture. We try to give that Caribbean, African vibration to the city of Toronto that is so multiverse and multicultural. We want you to come to Little Jamaica. We want you to celebrate the sounds, the food, the small business, the fashion designers. This area is very important to me. I have many childhood memories of traveling here with my mom to go to Monica's to get hair products. And today, now as the MPP, whether I'm grabbing a patty at Randy's, whether I'm at Entertainment Kitchen getting my fried chicken, it's so important for us to celebrate Little Jamaica. And it's a real honor for me advocating, supporting, celebrating, acknowledging the resilient lives of everyone here who calls Little Jamaica home, uh, being the fantastic community that we are.